welcome to our video. I'm Cookie. And I'm Shook. Today, Mom is helping us. Hi, guys. Now, what do we have here? We are making bad crayons. No. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're making bath crayons, and it's this, this is super duper. Oh no no no! Today we're making bath crayons, and parents, this is super super easy. What are you doing? Stop! So we can get through this. Okay. <laughs> First, what do we need, girls? Our um, soap. Soap. Can it be any soap? Yes. And you want to do white soap. So what you see is the girls have already shaved some of their soap. First, we're going to start out with the girls grading the soap. Okay? Yep. Your Spraying the soap, so it's my turn to grade my soap. My first year, I was like, and then, so that's great. Nana's soap. Great, 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 Yep. Okay, show the one. Let's show the one. Looks like coconut chips. There okay. you go. Okay, mommy's gonna help us with the water. So Aww. make sure you need make sure you need parents to help. Make sure you need parents to be in this video to help you. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna start out with one teaspoon of water warm water and add it into their uh, another scoop. So we're adding two scoops of the one teaspoon. Okay. Well, actually three scoops of one teaspoon. Remember, try not to add too much water. So you just want to start out with a little bit of water at the time and then you're going to continue to grow from there. Okay? Before we do the food coloring, the girls are going to go ahead and mash up. Oh, it is mash. very important that you mash up. Get your fork right here. And what they're going to do now is just pretty much mash up the soap um, with the warm water and to get it all down in there good. And it's they're what they're going to start doing next. After they get it in there pretty good, they're going to get their hands in there and they're going to make it into like a dough. Um, make it into like a dough. So now that the girls have molded everything together, what we're gonna do is take it out and put it on parchment paper or wax paper. Now this is something that I do. It is something that's not required, but I just add the parchment paper, wax paper, um, just, to, just to make it easier to put the soap soap in the mold that we're going to use. But first, we're going to add what next, girls? Food coloring. Ooh, coloring. Okay, so we have what's the pink right here, and we have the color green. Before, want you want green? Okay, cool. Before we do it, what I do is add a little dip. So push your finger down in there in the middle. Okay, making a little well. And the more food coloring that you use, the darker it'll be, which is turns out a little better. Okay, so I'm adding maybe about That's 10 red. drops. That's red. Like I said, about 10 drops to make it really a deep color. And then that's when you're going to kind of like start meshing and molding it in again together. And this is where your hands get, you know, dirty. I would advise you to just squeeze it. Just start squeezing it through. Okay? Squeezing it through. Yep, just squeeze. Uh -huh. squeeze. Squeeze it through. Squeeze. Lift it up. Squeeze. Yes, lift it up squeeze. and squeeze it through. 
please, please, please. Lift it up please. And... Okay, now the girls have added their colors and they've mixed it together. So what do you do next, Shug? Um, get the cookie cutters. Cookie cutters. Okay, so now we're gonna add cookie cutters. Shug is doing a thing over there. Doing dogs. Okay, let's show let's show them. You're doing the dog. Okay. And what you're gonna do is Sit down. Okay. Okay, so what happens now is you're gonna press it all the way down. Got it? Okay, she's gonna twist a little bit and turn it over, and then you're just gonna pack it down. Okay? So twist a little bit. Does it work? It does work. And we're going to pack it down, push it down in there. What we've done now is we've packed in all of our soap and we've cleaned the edges of our mold. So now we're going to do is... <laughs> so now what we're going to do is stick... Now we're going to stick this in the freezer for about 20 minutes. Give no. Cookie enough time to make as many silly faces as she wants. Okay? And we'll be right back. Now we just took it out of the freezer. We kept it in there for 20 minutes to let it get hard and it's cold. And now it is time to push it out. So the easiest way to get it out without breaking, because it is a little tricky, okay? It is a little tricky. We're gonna push around the edges. And here's where you'll probably need your parents to help shimmy it out. And see, you have your there. Now the, let's see, the dog, has these little tiny areas in there, so then the ears may not come out quite together. Let's see how we got it. Yeah, yours broke a little bit, but that's okay. Yeah, but that. Yeah, we still have the main part of your little puppy. Well, we'll spoil yeah, it. Yeah, look at this new background. <laughs> So the puppy didn't make it so well. However, we did get it out. Okay, you hold yours here, and you hold yours right there. Now we're gonna test it and see how it, it works. works. Okay, draw something there, and draw something there. And let's see if we're gonna turn it this way. Draw something there. Yeah. Now what the girls are doing are trying out to see if it really works. This is my dinosaur, but my little dog got smashed up, but that's okay. I turned it into a dinosaur. This is my little rock ice cream face. <laughs> what happened is we did sit it in the freezer for about 30 minutes. It did get hard. We took it out and I let it warm up a little bit, which I might shouldn't have done um, as long as I did. However, the girls are still able to draw. Okay, and let's see what we have here. 